Hi everyone, so it's been quite a long time since I've done a what's in my bag video. I think my last one was actually an airport edition, so I haven't really done just a general what's in my bag video for a really long time. I haven't got a new bag, I know people normally wait till they have a new bag to do this, um, but I thought I'd just show you like genuinely what's in my everyday bag. I haven't tinkered with it, I haven't put anything in, I just grabbed my bag from upstairs and I thought I'd show you what's inside. This is my Urban Outfitters rucksack. You may have seen this in my vlogs or in photos because I've had it maybe for about a year now. Actually I picked it up when I was in Manchester with Anna last year. I can't remember when that was. I really wanted a rucksack and I love this one. It's from a brand called, oh I can't remember now but I'm going to put the link below because it's still on the Urban Outfitters website which is really cool so if you do like it you can get it. It's black and it has a clip so it kind of folds up and clips but you can also clip it down so that the zip is exposed but if you're from London I'd recommend clipping it up. I love this, I find it so nice to have both my hands free. I've never had a backpack before because they were like school bags back in the day and now they're trendy. I thought I'd give one a go and it's really nice to have both arms free. At the moment I'm loving this one so let me talk you through what's inside. There is a zip at the back um, but I don't have anything in there and there are two zips on the side so as you can see there I'm going to show you what's in there first this side oh I have my phone I have my Kate Spade phone case that you guys have seen that says hello sunshine it's kind of broken now but I love it because it has a mirror on the back which is so handy because if you need to just look at your lipstick oh dear should have done that before filming then you can just look at the back of your phone and everyone always says nice phone case so I like that and I also have my camera in here which has turned itself on this is the Canon S120 it's really great I really like it it's really good quality although I find in dim light it's not great everyone seems to be getting the Canon G7 at the moment um, which has a screen that flips up so you can see yourself and I do like the look of it although I find it quite large so I was gonna buy that one but it is quite expensive so I think I'm gonna sit back see maybe what else comes out because I find that a little bit bulkier. The thing I like about this one because it's so small you can just kind of put it in your back pocket which is great when you are daily vlogging. In the other pocket is a hand sanitizer. I think when you live in a city you always need to carry a hand sanitizer on you. When I'm going on the tube and then I go for lunch it's just so easy. This one is from the body shop. It's the pink grapefruit one. Everyone always says oh my god what is that smell? It smells so good. I hate that chemically alcohol smell of kind of normal hand sanitizers. Um, I really like this one. It smells Oh, it smells so good um, so it kind of encourages me to use it more. I also have my braces in here I have a really boring white case um, but I always keep those on me. Okay so now into the main part I just kind of unhook it there and zip down and I think that makes it feel just a little bit more safe than a normal backpack so I'm just gonna dig in and pull stuff out in no particular order. The first thing is my Oyster card this is in a little whistle case that I have I really like this I think it's very smart. I also have my glasses this case says love is blind and I got this from Tiger. I got my glasses from Specsavers, it was like a two for one deal. Um, so I now have three glasses, I still don't wear them, I have one on my desk, one in my car and one in my handbag. I thought it might help me wear them more but now I always forget, um, oh they're very dirty. This is what um, this pair look like, they're literally Specsavers own brand so they were really affordable. Um, I think they're kind of cool, I should probably wear them more often, but I don't because I am like a teenager. These are my Bose headphones, I got these last year when I was in the airport with Rich, um, where did we go on holiday? Greece? Yeah, and I bought these in the airport because I had my big Sony ones, sometimes those are a bit annoying because you can't like lean your head and I just quite like having like inner ear ones as well, but the Apple ones I hate because you can hear, but when I hear people on the tube with the Apple headphones I actually want to punch them. So these are really good because they are just small and they kind of, they're, they're really comfy, they just fit in your ear nicely. So I have those and in this pouch I also have a headphone splitter because I always have Anna or Rich or someone with me and we always want to watch something together or listen to something together. I also have my little memory card adapter as well which is for my MacBook Air because there's no slot for a memory card so I put this in the little USB slot and then I put my memory card in there and that's how I get all my photos or videos onto my computer. I have sunglasses in here, I don't know why because there's never any sun in the UK but when there is everyone just kicks themselves if they haven't got their sunglasses on them because it's like the one opportunity to wear them so I just keep mine in my bag most of the time. These are actually new, they're the Ray-Ban Erica's and they're from um, Sunglasses Shop the website. Um, I really like these, they're very lightweight uh, but I really like the shape of them as well. Um, they're tortoise shell, which is kind of different for me for sunglasses. I normally get black sunglasses, like my Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but I thought these are a bit softer and they kind of match my hair colour. It's just a different look and I really like them. Mark, Anna's boyfriend, has these actually. And when we went to France together, I remember thinking, 
Those look nice, I want some. I have some Wrigley's Extra Long Lasting Flavor Sweet Watermelon Chewing Gum. I got this in America. You guys in America have some like crazy flavors. Whenever I go to America, I always pick up loads of sweets and gum because there's such good stuff. There's only two left. It's one of those things you don't want to take out when you're with people because then everyone will ask for one. I like to just keep these for myself. They're so good. My purse is in here and it's the same purse that I've had pretty much my whole time since I've been on YouTube. Um, it's from Mew Mew. I had a voucher to Westfield um, a few years ago and I put it towards getting a good purse that I knew would last forever. It didn't have a scratch on it when I bought it, but I knew it was one of those um, fabrics that was going to scratch and I quite like the beaten up look. This is just like packed full of crap. But apart from my cards and receipts and everything else that I keep in here, I have a little um, cluster of Kirby grips that are tied up with a hairband just in case. Let's see if I have any interesting cards in here. I have my Blink card, because I get my eyebrows threaded. I've probably been through about 10 of these. Um, I've got two stamps on there. When you get five stamps, you get a free eyebrow thread, which I think is really good. Um, I have my Boots card as well, which is probably the best loyalty card, I think, in the UK. This is a little purse from Forever 21. And if I'm honest, this is where I keep my tampons. <laughs> I don't like to just kind of put them in my bag to like just be, because then when you take things out, one might like fling out with it. So I just keep them all in this little purse. And I also find it's less awkward when you need to go to the toilet. I always think when you take your whole handbag with you to the toilet, it's like so obvious. It's like, she's on a period. Um, whereas if you could just put a little like purse in your back pocket or something, it just, you know, it just looks like a purse. So that's what I do. But now you're all going to know that if you ever see me with that purse. I've also got a little notepad. This is from Smithson. I think it's not, I always say Smithson. I think it's Smithson. It's a little black book and it says my name on it. So I think that's really cute. This was a gift from Estee Lauder. And I like to keep it with me just to take notes when I'm in meetings or if I think of a blog post idea or a video idea, I just write it down in there. Oh, I also have some Starbursts. I think these are left over from our Beauty Chat live tour because we went on lots of trains and I just bought loads of snacks. These are the tropical ones. I wasn't a fan of these. I think that's why I haven't finished them. I think I prefer the original flavours instead. I have a pen. This is my portable phone charger. It's from Anchor. It doesn't keep that many charges. I think it only does like two or three, um, but I just plug it into my computer to charge. At the moment, my priority is having something small over having something that can charge a million times because some of the ones that can charge more are really big and I just find my bags already quite heavy. So um, I'm happy with this one for now. I have one more thing in here and that's my little beauty bag. I change this up all the time. Sometimes I have a bigger bag. I've got one from Tom Ford that's like a big makeup bag. Sometimes I just use the clear Muji cases. Um, at the moment I'm just using this one which is from Erin. And this is more of like a lipstick size bag um, because I haven't got that much stuff in there at the moment. I always tend to put more in than I actually need, so I'm trying to cut down on that because it really does weigh down my bag. I'll usually put in the lipstick that I'm wearing that day. Um, <sighs> I forgot that it's Friday, which means that my neighbour has a leaf blower come to her house. Who needs a leaf blower? Seriously, I'm just going to carry on. I'm really sorry for the leaf blowing noise in the background. Ooh, it stopped. So this is where I keep my kind of lip products. I'm just going to dig in here. Start it again. The joys of being a YouTuber. Okay, so I have my Elizabeth and James perfume in here. This is a little roll-on version of the big one that I have. It's like a really nice rosy scent, um, and I like to have a little perfume just in case I want to top it up throughout the day. This, I got this little goodie bag recently. It's so cute. I think it's Givenchy. Oh no, it's Guerlain. It's Guerlain. It is a tiny, weeny lipstick. Look at this, it's insanely cute. A tiny red lipstick. I don't think I could ever bring myself to use it, but maybe if I need to top up my red lipstick, or something like that. I just want to keep that in my bag, it's so cute. I also have a hand cream. This one is from Grown Alchemist, which is a new brand. They sell it on Cult Beauty. It's quite interesting. I didn't love the skincare that I tried, but this is their vanilla and orange peel hand cream. And it's a little travel size and I really like this. It smells great. I have a Tanya Burr lip gloss. This one is in Sparkling Dew Drops. I just like to have a range of lipsticks. Um, this is a nude option. This is the new one from Bite Beauty that I bought um, in Amaretto. It's like a little um, matte cream pencil. And then I also have my Bite Agave Lip Mask, which I've used a little bit. I still haven't tried it out properly, but it's a nice lip balm option. I then have this from Ciate, which is new. It's part of their new kind of treatment range, which I really, really like. I've written about it on my blog. This is their Beautiful Cuticles. So it's a marula oil cuticle care. So it's just a little brush. You wind up at the bottom like a touche claire and you apply it on your cuticles. I get such dry nails and that's why they start breaking and flaking. So I'm trying to get better at just kind of 
putting oil on my cuticles whenever I can remember. So that's it, that's everything from my handbag. Sorry for the leaf blower at the end there. He seems to have stopped now. Maybe he sensed my vibes. But I thought you guys would enjoy this casual video. I love a good what's in my handbag. It's a great video to start with if you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel. It just feels very relaxing to sit and talk through what's in your handbag. So I hope you enjoyed it. Come back on Sunday at 9.30 in the morning for my next video, which is gonna be a monthly makeup routine and it's actually the look that I'm wearing today. So if you wanna see how I did that, come back and watch that video and I'll see you guys then. Bye!